New Zealand has a long and proud history of creating food the world wants to eat. From the first frozen meat shipment to the UK in 1882, to the introduction of canning and refrigeration, New Zealand has been at the forefront of innovation. Our meat, produce, dairy products, processed foods, natural and organic foods, fish and wines are sought after by discerning customers across the globe. The dairy industry remains New Zealand's largest export earner and last year food products made up half of the top ten export earners. It is this proud history that we celebrate tonight at the New Zealand Food Awards. For the last 50 years, Massey University has helped to build innovation capability for the New Zealand food industry. We've seen a lot of changes over that time. New Zealand consumers are developing a more sophisticated palate, moving away from traditional meat-based meals and increasingly demanding a smorgasbord of food choices. Think about iconic New Zealand foods. Vogel's Bread was introduced in 1956. Edmunds created a pasta cookbook in 1964. We opened up venison farming in the 1970s and Massey University's Tom Robinson helped develop Mollenberg in the early 1980s. The last two decades have brought us calf culture and a more international flavour to our food, along with a focus on eating more healthily. So now, as always, we're looking to the future of food and the future of New Zealand's food industry. It's something Massey University has been focusing on since the 1920s. As we mark the 50th anniversary of the start of the Food Technology Program, it's good to see so many Massey graduates in leading positions across the world creating food products that enhance lives and earn valuable export dollars. Global populations are tipped to reach 9 billion by 2040, with most people living in cities. New Zealand is perfectly poised to be the world leader in high quality, functional foods using sustainable solutions. Massey people are actively helping New Zealand companies research and develop food for future generations. We're passionate about taking ideas and innovating, creating research-led products destined for commercial success. We also help celebrate success across New Zealand's food industry with the New Zealand Food Awards We've been involved since their inception in 1987 and they continue to grow from strength to strength. We also work directly with businesses on research and development at the Food Pilot Plant in Palmerston North. Along with the Food Bowl, it's part of the New Zealand Food Innovation Network and offers businesses an independent facility to develop, analyse and test samples using expertise honed in industry. What will the future look like? Let's ask our partners. The future trends is definitely around um, consumers and customers growing demands and wanting to know a lot more about the product the, uh, about the product that's in front of them. That is um, definitely they want to know more about animal welfare, about um, environmental issues, about labelling. They want to know a lot more about everything about the food. And that is becoming a lot more um, apparent in emerging markets like China and uh, markets like that. But it's it's definitely something that's not going away. It's it's getting more and more each time we we get involved. The food and beverage sector in Auckland is one of the most exciting growth sectors. Already a very large employer of people in the economy and one of the fastest growing sectors. And we see it being a major contributor to GDP growth in the coming years. Food manufacturers need to plan for the big macro trend around wellness and food that's better for you. And the other key thing we hear from consumers is getting the right information on the pack so they know what's in, in their food. The trends that I see emerging are more around raw and cold treated, uh, fermented foods such as kombucha and also natural functional foods. Um, New Zealand currently has the ability and the scale to produce food for 40 million people. I think the challenge for us strategically is to identify and then select the top 10% of the 400 million emerging middle class across Asia and to focus on um, selling to that group of people rather than the first 40 million that come along. So at Rabobank we're seeing three key trends emerge around certainty of supply, food safety and sustainability. And increasingly what we're seeing is buyers not only willing but also wanting 
to enter into long-term arrangements so they can be certain of supply and be confident that the product they're selling is safe and is produced in a sustainable way. Food HQ is delighted to be the newest strategic partner in the New Zealand Food Awards family. Over the next 20 years, we'll be investing over 250 million into a world-recognised food super campus based in Palmerston North. And being part of the New Zealand Food Awards helps us to identify the best in New Zealand's agri-food industry. Food HQ will champion food innovations and help build New Zealand's reputation as a value-added food nation. Massey has also been selected to host the government's new Food Safety Science and Research Centre, which will receive $25 million in funding over five years to deliver food safety research for the country. It's another useful tool in the kit that every food business needs. It reinforces our desire to take the best of New Zealand to the world. New Zealand's future as a food industry leader is unquestioned. The New Zealand Food Awards is proud to be part of that future.